<laughs> Greetings, programs. Per PNSMO here, and welcome to the icy world. All right, we have a light temporal storm happening tomorrow morning. And our goal is to get some armor made. I don't think we have an option to make very much, <laughs> but we will see what we can do. Let's get our mask back on. Now I can make improvised armor for my chest and I'm not sure I can make anything else because yeah, I should have already been carrying armor. What have I got in the crucible? Let's see, what have I got in here? I don't think I have silver and gold here. Okay, I have gold there. Let's... Okay, that's full. Let's get the gold in there. Now, I was thinking that I could make something else. So I think I was counting on getting some more of that copper chain. And I can see that that just did not happen. I have some granite rock. I can make a corn if we run out of things to do. Low fertility soil. What we can do there is go bing. And let's make some more. Nice. Okay, there's some more path blocks. And now I've got granite on me. Yay. Okay, what's in this box? Behind this door, we have hides. What we need to do is cure some hides for the next time, which, and I should have thought of this, you know, at least two days ago, because it takes two days to cure hides. So what we need is uh, armor. Yeah, not that one. Let's look up hide. Oiled hide, medium. There we go. And then pelts. So we can make wood lameller if we cure a pelt. So we need one for the head, three. Okay, so that's four. So we need six all together. And it looks like we have small and huge. So let's go ahead and cure six. Again, not going to be ready till next time, but you do what you got to do. Now I needed one more copper chain and I think what happened is I ended up with a, a bronze one instead. I mean just when I don't want to be lucky. I think that's kind of a bummer. Okay so oiled hide it says zero percent cured and it will be done in 48 hours. So that's a day too late. What have I got in here? More low fertility soil which means I can use more of the granite stones. It's not like I'm going to be making cobblestone anytime soon because it's not like clay's that, you know, easy to get. Okay, we'll put you path blocks in there. Probably could be making firewood out of all of this, huh? Because that is rather important. Yep, let's go drop some of this firewood off. We need to really gather a bunch. In fact, I think I want to start stacking it up back here. Some, um, yeah, let's put you right in these spots. Great. I will also need to hunt resin to make that leather armor. But I don't know if I want to leave home right now with the impending storm. I think I just want to organize and get ready for a trader trip. That's right, we're gonna go on a trader trip. Where should we put these granite bricks? I think they would look really nice. Like out front or do we want to start making the floor with them? <laughs> I wonder how soon it'll be before I can replace that. I don't know. I've only got six. There. I'll 
take you out because there's no reason to have those there. Use a little bit of snow because why not? Put there. Okay. Yep, that works. Let's make the rest of this. I'm going to need to make another axe, aren't I? Let's do that. I don't have anything sitting here waiting to be made. Axe it is. Nice. Okay. Sticks. Let's get the axe. Might as well make this knife up. And a spear. Also get that out of the inventory. Look at this awesome collection that we will be taking with us when we go hunting. All right. Oh. Let's make the firewood, put it down. There we are. Those go down. Like I said, we are going to get ready to go to the trader after the temporal storm. We're going to go to the north trader first, and then we'll hit the two luxury traders to see if we can unload any of these gems and all those books. Oh my gosh, we gathered so many books. That just really bothers me. <laughs> Tin bronze. Okay. Um, yep. I don't have anything else to put in there. Uh, maybe I'll plant some trees out front. Who knows? All right. Let's make our armor. I guess I should be. I don't even have to light these, really. Let's replace that. Okay. We'll just get these out of the way. I don't really have to light this place up yet, so I can't see waste in the... Well, not wasting, but taking the chance that I let them burn out. Okay, I'll we'll just put that one there. Hey, that's right. We have spelt rice porridge with mashed cabbage. Look at that. And there's still some left. Point one. How much is left in here? Two more servings. Yeah, we have to make sure that we've got some good food for tomorrow morning. So we may want to... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to cook anymore. Eh. And I don't have another bowl. Bush meat. Nine days. I wonder if I should cook some. Let's, let's work on that. Can't do anything else with the bush meat. Really, just cook it. Hey. What did I say about needing that torch? Gimme. Alright, and what have I got in here? Oh, I still got bush meat in here. That's right, we used all of the red meat. There you go. Cook them up. We've got... Alright, what am I doing? Let's put this little granite stone away. Got all this chalk. One piece of granite. A couple of clay stones. Okay, we want to make armor. Going to need the firewood. And a knife. So, handbook. Thought it was made with firewood. There it is. So, I need some grass. And it is not on me. We need to check the garden, too. There we are. And let's go ahead and get rid of that. 
So, two there. How's that for perfect? I think I planned it or something. Improvised body armor. And that goes like this. And it doesn't take any additional um, energy to wear it. I mean, it doesn't bring your food down any. Let's see. What else do we need? I was thinking of making this grass into some bales and kind of blocking this off a little bit. Just in case a bear decides to lumber on through here. And it's one way of storing grass. <laughs> All right. Now that I've got my armor, such as it is, we will, right before the storm, in the morning, we'll grab all of the spears, all of the good spears, and take them. And hopefully we have food and everything. Right, we're gonna cook up some bush meat, and I will fill up my bowl, take it with me. What else have I got going on? I got knives everywhere there we go so that has four knives on it that has two knives a shovel and a hoe <laughs> okay can I make a quern ingredient for a quern two sticks I think I can do that bink 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 and one two Sweet. Okay, so now we have a quern. I'm not sure where to put this yet. I don't have a cellar or anything. And from what I understand, you really don't need one here in this life. <laughs> but uh, probably put our processing station downstairs. So I don't know. For now, we can just put it here and put some bones in it. And now you just basically click your right mouse button and hold it down and you can see the arrow will just make some progress over there. Grindy, grindy, grindy. And now we have bone meal that we can go use in the garden. So I'm going to grind some of this up. I also have an extra spot that I can stash some bones in. <laughs> It would be nice to find saltpeter or whatever, but that would mean I need to go into a cave first. I'm not quite ready for that. Stored food pair speed 0.1. Okay. I'm not sure what I can put in it, but... Okay, yeah, grains. Duh. However, making bread, I think, is a little bit out of reach because that calls for clay. So, and the next clay has to go toward making an anvil and an ingot mold because I can't do anything with the anvil until I have an ingot to put on it. Making a forge with cobble is easy because obviously cobble from ruins and I've got plenty of it already. So, all right, so what uses N? I think, well, that's how I make, that's how I'm making my cabbage, huh? Oh, this is phosphorus. 30% phosphorus and only 3% N. Um, trying to remember. I think I have the soybeans take potassium. That's the K. All right. Well, I'm just going to have to mouse over and take a look. And we'll just put this wherever we can. But I think it'll, you know, have some use. Okay. Let's take the 40 with us. Maybe I should have only taken half because I can't put it back in there or anything. See? Me? Oh! Whoa! I can in fact put it back in there. Okay, that's handy. That's another storage slot. I'm trying to think what else do I need to prepare for the storm? I think that's it. Really. I want to put the granite away somewhere. Somewheres. Somewheres. 
Uh, okay, now things won't spawn on the ice, but they will spawn on the snow. So maybe we save the ice and not the snow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll just stick these here because we can. And those have to go with us to the trader. I may come back and pick up all of this snow too uh, because I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. I will bring back the ice probably from the trader. All right, let's see how our veggie patch is doing. Okay, so doesn't look like, yeah, phosphorus is good on all of these. Let's get rid of the grass. That should be regening a little bit of stuff. 32, actually, let's, since we're going to be in here for a little bit. 511, 511, 511. Okay, so what should we be putting this on? Anything that uses phosphorus, really. It's not going to help the N a whole lot, but yeah, might as well put a little bit. Look at that, 74% growth speed. It's actually not terrible. That'll regen the N just slightly, but not a lot. Um, I've got plenty of bones, so I guess I really shouldn't worry about putting this down. Any little bit that regens the end would be good. Okay, rye. Eight of nine, six of nine. Okay. Yeah, these take Ks. Huh. Okay, these are mature. So we can grab this. Come on. Whoops. All right, I think we got it all. Nine, nine. Okay, these are all end crops. And then these are K crops, soybeans. So we'll put plant the ends over here. Soybeans, that'll be an interesting meal coming up. And I've got a spot to put them too. And a 10 of 12 cabbage. So if we put the rye down, the rye needs ends. And of course the soybeans we're using K, so we can put those here. I think they were all soybean here, right? Yeah, that's definitely depleted. These are all, yeah. Darn it, I don't think we have any phosphorus crops. Come on, cabbage. Just to... Because we can. Okay. So... These take the uh, potassium, so we'll just plant those here. There we go. And we have one rye left, which is a nitrogen crop. Uh, 50.3. Okay, I guess you're going here. Nothing else is ripe in here. The rice is getting close. Okay. Next one over. I don't have any seeds plants or anything. Oh, hey. Um, no. We have no no pea crops. Sorry. Yeah, no phosphorus crops. Okay. No seeds. This is all growing. We have one. Nope. So nothing mature. Let's go ahead and 
add these to all of the cabbage and the rye. It's all rice, isn't it? Oh, there's some rye. Rye, rye. We can stack these two for a little bit. For now, let's give one to everybody. To all the cabbages. And one to all the rye. Whoops. Okay. So I can grind up a bunch more bones. There's really nothing else I'll be using it for. And continue to keep fertilizing these. I'll bring them back early in the morning or the right after the um, right after the temporal storm and we go visit the north trader okay put you away now food so soybeans source of protein and it also sells to agricultural traders if we you know ever got that far so i can put those Ew. Well, that's not what I wanted. Soybeans. And rice. And wow. Okay. Copper chain. Where can we stick you guys? It's going to be right there for now. That means I can put all of those there. That frees up yet another slot. Okay. So stew is almost done. Let's put this down. Fill my bowl again. But I'm not going to eat it. I am going to probably eat the bush meat and save the porridge for our hunt. Nice. Now this is four things that I can throw on the ground immediately. Flint can go, and if I have to, I'll throw uh, the bony rib cages, but I probably won't need to. I'll be lucky if I get a piece of flax, but I am hoping for temporal gears. Really hoping for temporal gears from the storm so I can repair that translocator. Oh my goodness, it takes three. I don't know if I'll be that lucky on a light temporal storm. That is, if my trap works. I think it will. I mean, I've seen it done, and I've tested it a little bit. If something spawns inside, though, that's going to be a little bit problematic. Okay, what I thought maybe I could do while we're waiting is to put a little bit of a roof up. Now, that is the top. That's the bottom slab. I think I want bottom slabs which means I would put it right there where I can't reach of course and I do this hey it works nice now can I reach from here barely I may want to do this and then go up and build it from there. Oh, see, this is what I did not want to happen. There we go. And I think it will be easier if I am up there. Okay, give me my piece that I dropped. Do I have... I think I have it all on me now, right? So another thing we need to do is hunt some more slabs because we need to get this roof finished. Okay. Uh, and I just basically locked off my way up, didn't I? And I can't go up there because I need some more steps. Fine. Do there, there, and there. Now I can get up there. I think. There we go. Okay. Incoming roof. OK. 
Okay. <sighs> this is not going to work. I don't remember having trouble building to the side. Ugh. I think I can fix that, though. I think if I put them in my inventory... Only horizontal placement. Okay. That should solve the problem. Let's get these first and then we'll go upstairs because it might be a little easier that way. There we are. Well, I don't know. Actually, this isn't too bad now that I can reach them and that I know that they're not going to go slap on vertical. We're just going to leave those steps. It's not like we have a ton of blocks. <clears throat> you know, not bad. It's getting there. Definitely need to do a lot more cobblestone hunting. <sighs> I need to dig up a bunch of gravel and just sieve for clay for days. Days! Because I've got to get that going. I've got to go gather some quartz because I need the silver and gold so I can make probably black bronze because I can't see making a bronze anvil or I can't see making a copper anvil if I have bronze available. We will just skip the copper anvil altogether and move straight to bronze. I'm going to cook up a little more of this bush meat. There we are. And get the torch. Light her up. Okay. Now, why don't I take what's left of the shovel. Flint shovel. That's the hoe. I think the shovel's right there. Yes. Grab the path blocks. And see about building a little bit of a path out here. Why not? Still not sure how I want to get over this area here to get to the trader. Probably would want to come out a little bit. So, I don't know, path box in front of here. We'll surround this a little bit. Maybe I just want to come straight out this way. And then go to the right. Yep, we have eight hours before the light temporal storm. But we've done all we can to prepare. I've managed to get enough to buy the shield and I've got my lamellar armor and we'll pick up all of these very cool... You know, that tower is like really kind of freaky. I should put like the eyeball up there, huh? <laughs> Make it the tower of the one eye. It's seriously it, because of the ice. Okay, I'm, I'm dwelling too much on that. Anyway, I think that's really cool. But all of these really cool copper spears that we've gotten from panning the bony soil. So our ruins explorations have not been for naught. Okay, let's pick you guys up because this looks a little silly with just three of them. Let's widen it up. I feel like I might be wasting the path block, but it just looks cool. Who knows? I might change those two for a different type of cobble. Now this path needs to change too. Got all this stone. Yeah. 
that's in the way if I want to make the path go this way. Let's... I don't know. Let's dig this out. But I'm not sure how far back I want to go with the path. before I go up one. I don't know. I'm about here. One, two, three, four, five. And then maybe like if I can afford a slab, it'll go down there. And then path box here. Yeah, that'll work. Because I go here a lot, obviously. My greenhouse. It's where my food is. And blocks are really easy to get now. Blocks. Stones are really easy to get now. With, you know, having a pick and all. Want to save the chalk. Oh, that's right. And I also discovered another issue we may have with curing leather. Where in the world am I going to get oak? If we find an agriculture trader, we may be able to get an oak seed, an acorn. Whether I can get trees to grow here at all. I have absolutely no idea. Um, I don't know if I have enough stones to go all the way. Eh, that was kind of silly, wasn't it? Probably should go ahead and put ice down though. Let's go ahead and keep this area not spawnable. Here I am putting dirt here. So, probably my luck. This is just right for a bear to spawn right at my door. Uh, it is what it is. Okay, let's do you and you. And let's not waste the stone. Let's put it in an otherwise spawnable area. Okay, we're getting close to storm time. Close to storm time. So let's see, how is our meat doing? Not bad. Oh, I was going to check the expiration. Okay, so this was about 10 days, I think, before it was heated up. This is 37 days, so it's better if we just cook it all, as long as it will still stack in here. So let's grab some more wood. And that should keep the fire going. I think I hear another fox. Okay, that's enough for now. It looks like we are almost ready to go. I guess, I don't know, what are we going to do before the storm? Just sit in the trap and chat? I guess we can. Oh boy. I've got sticks just in case I need to make a last minute uh, tool rack. But yeah, I've got plenty of junk I can get rid of. In fact, I don't know if I can dump this in the corner. I wish I could melt those arrowheads down. Because I won't be using an arrow. I won't be using a bow anytime soon, I don't think. You know, I've got this nifty, neato rawhide mantle. I think I can make rawhide pants too. Rawhide. I can, I can make rawhide trousers. So it takes four pelts and a knife. Why not? Because I have lots and lots of these huge hides. 
It went like this, correct? Pants! All healed and stuff. It's the same as the Malefactor things, but since I have no way of repairing them... There we go. Now I have pants on the ground. I wonder if they'll burn. Because there's one way to find out. Can I burn my pants? <laughs> if so, I will go get my shirt and burn it too. Let's see. Nope. Okay. Come on. They're flammable. Seriously. Can't put them anywhere. You can't use them on a... can't use them on a dummy or a armor stand you know, so that's kind of pointless here we are all dressed in our grass and firewood armor <laughs> and my shield here's my shield and they're going to have to protect us while we fight today there's my spear so I've got that going for me too. Woohoo! Look at that! Look at that! I am serious warrior. Oh, here I am throwing it at the camera. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I know we didn't do a lot, but you know, it's all necessary to get going for this temporal storm that is just about to happen. You're not going to want to miss it. So I will see you next time. And in the meantime, play hard, die often, and leave a good looking corpse. <laughs> oh, look, more, lo more, more, lo lo hello. Whoa, I checked them all the way out the front door. How's that for aim? Even when I'm not looking. Gosh, we've got snow, like, everywhere. Yeah, it's like, everywhere.